welcome back to another episode of Attack of the Beat Team Mod Pack. I am Digimaster, and I shall be your Digimon on today's adventure. Last time, we hung out in this place looking for blizzards, and I couldn't find any. Well, I figured out what why that was. It was daytime. As we look over here, he disappeared. He must have despawned. I swear they're here. Hold on. <laughs> Let's turn into a bat. Do a swoop. Mr. Blizz. Oh, Mr. Blizz. There's one. And we're gonna kill him. Look at him. He throws things at us. Oh, what effect do we have on us? Oop, that's not the right thing. Oops, that's not it either. Nothing anymore. Come on, hit me again. Or don't. We got a bunch of snowballs and we got a blizz rod. Awesome. And now we're a blizz. Wait a minute. As a blizz, I can't fly. This is crap. Blizzes can't fly. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a love tap. Bye. <laughs> so yes, we do have blizzards that spawn up here. Um, we may get one of them trapped and put into an auto spawner for some of these from some of these rods. There's another one. So that we can make some blue liquid. That cryothium. You give me one? Nah, he didn't give me one. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I'm gonna. I mean, go back to the base. We got some work to do today. We're gonna do some upgrading on some power systems or power cables, anyway. So we're gonna do, add an addition on to our room, our power room, and I'll be back when we get there. See you shortly. All right, we're back in the base. We seem to have a zombie somewhere around. I don't know exactly where. He may be below us, but I don't think so. Oop, oop, oop. Where are you, zombie? You're not out here. Hmm. He must be on the floor somewhere. Weird. Let's make two more. Oops. I said two more elevators. Bump. Go ahead and take. Oh! <laughs> this pick's a little crazy. little crazy. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take those out. We're gonna go down a little ways. Put those back. Um, let's go... Oh, wow. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. And then let's put the floor right here. There, that way we have let's see one, two, three blocks of headroom. So we're if we have well, let's put it one more down further. That way we can have a four block high ceiling. And still have room in between. So let's do this. There we go. Go ahead and tag the back wall. Okay, clear out the room some. Meow. <laughs> oh. Alright, well I'm going to get to work clearing out this room. Um, probably decorate it a little bit. 
very basics of it anyway. Mimic the room above mostly, most likely. And I'll be back. This is crazy. <laughs> so much faster than our hammer at this point in time. Alright guys, see you shortly. Well, I'm in the middle of cleaning out this room. There's tons of gravel. But, I was going to town, I wasn't paying attention, and I let the durability, or the energy level on the pick run out. And, it if you let it run out, it goes back to using the durability, and I broke the pick. So, the only way to fix that was to put it back in the repair station with a piece of cobalt to get it to come back. Um, which I did, which slows it down some. Because now you see we have a 931 durability. We're at 44.1, that only gives us a bo with a bonus of 3.1. So we're going to have to wear it down, the, the energy charge, again, and then go and wear down the durability again. But I didn't think it was going to make that huge of a difference, but look at this thing now. It's quick, but it isn't like as lightning fast as it was. Oh well. Well, I'm going to get back to clearing out this room. Almost done here. Uh, I ran into our storage room that we cleared out, but I went ahead and made this little nook. It'll add some character to our storage room. That's it. Alright, back to clearing out. Okie dokie. I've got the floor done. It looks amazing, doesn't it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go down and see it. Ta-da! It's a little taller than the other one. But, and the pipes are a little different. I really kind of like this one. I don't like how they connect in the thing. I should probably drop them down one and then did that, but oh well. It is what it is. I tried to hide it as best as possible. You can't really tell when you're just, you know, da 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 da. Um, yeah, it turned out really well. The only two that stick out of the wall are the ones around this, taking us upwards. So we got level 2 power, or level 2 processing, sorry, this isn't level 2 power. Level 2 power would be over there. This is processing or manufacturing, level 2. So, um, first I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be making, which we already know. We've done it before. Thermal. I'm going to be making... Do, 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 where are you? a fluid transposer and a magma crucible. I'm going to make those two. Magma crucible is made like this with some nether brick, sheen frame, leadstone energy frame, and that stuff. This guy's made with basically the exact same thing, glass in a bucket. So I'm going to get those made. Actually, let's we can make those on camera. It's not a big deal. Um, we need two machine frames. Boop. So we come over here. Grab. What am I doing? Eight iron. Got that. Iron, iron, iron. Gold in the middle. Bricks. Two machine frames. Uh, we need two glass. Okay, we need another gold. Two of them. All right. We need two glass. And I believe it was a bucket. Yeah. And two copper. So give me three more iron. That's not iron. Make our bucket. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bucket. I gotta get redstone. Oh god, we need better storage. Alright. Take this. Put it like that get two of these guys because we're going to need one for the other guy as well. So that should be that. Boom! Fluid transposer. 
Now, Magma Crucible. What we got? We need two more copper. We got this. Let's get our nether brick. I think I got some of that. Oh, I got three pieces. Perfect. What else did we need? Uh, Magma Crucible. We need this guy, so let's grab... All we need to do is grab a redstone brick. Bloop. Fly back over here. Grab some more glass. Grab some four lead. That, 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 there. Bloop. Got that bad boy. Alright, I think we are. Yep, we're ready. Magma Crucible. Well, that took no time at all. We're going to put these bad boys right over here. So we're going to have Magma Crucible Fluid Transposer. Magma Crucible is what you put stuff into to make it into liquid. Um, so that's going to... Let's go ahead and sort this out. We're going to import from the top, export through the side. This guy is going uh, to import from the top. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's do it like this. Export through the top. That'll come up. Yeah, come up, over. I'm trying to think of how I want the pipes to go, because it's going to go into a... I could have it just piped directly into this, uh, but I kind of want to have like a tank in the middle. So if I put a tank there, I could have the pipe come up, but then I'd have to have a pipe come down. That would just make it huge. I was going to have a pipe right here, have it come out, and then have it go back down. But I want to keep everything within here, so I want this guy to be able to export somewhere. And if there's a pipe here, you can't export into the middle. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's go ahead and grab this, do this. Put him right there. I'll have him export out the top. Have him receive from here. So it will export directly into the uh, tank. Tank will then come out and then this dude will export right there into a chest. And they'll both get power from behind. Okay, so let's get some fluid ducts. I don't think I have very many of them. If any. Yeah, no fluid ducts. We need some of these for right now. Uh, let's get some planks. We'll just make some. Chest. All right, we'll just go down and we'll make some fluid ducts. I had one, but I think I threw it away. <laughs> I think it's just copper and two lead, or the other way around. Okay, maybe the other way around. Yep, there we go. Alright, back down. Oh, wait. We do have one more thing to do up here. Do I still have the glass on me? I do. How do we make a tank? It's just going to be a basic tank. Just one copper. Only reason it's going to be a basic tank is I don't have much invar. I need to make some more up. Boom. Basic tank. Alright. Let's make this bad boy. 
screw to this guy. Tank right into that guy. Out and down. Crud, you can't do that. Uh, you can't export from the top of one of these tanks. Dang it. Thought I had it. The only reason I want the tank in there is because it looks cool. Because you can see the liquid. It really isn't needed. Um, if I had one more space, it'd be fine. But I didn't have... Let me see, do I have... I don't even have any that are made up that'd be wide enough. I need four spaces. I didn't make any that would be able to do four. Dang it, man. Well, I guess I'll just have the chest hanging out next to the pillar. Whatever. So we're gonna do it like this. Like so. He's going to export. This way I can put a hopper on top of him too. He'll export there. Oops, I don't need that. There, stop that from happening. He'll export into that guy. Dang it. I did it wrong again, didn't I? This guy is supposed to export through the top. And it'll come up. Then go in there. Then... Oops. This guy will come have stuff go in. And this will be set to export. And this will be set to that. I don't think that actually needs to be changed because of that. So that will happen. That'll work properly. You know what? Why don't I just put the chest on top? I, w I don't know why I thought the chest had to go on the side. I can go right there. He can export his goodies out the top on into that chest. We can put a cover there. I have a couple covers. Burp. Cover there, cover there. I wonder, can I still open the chest if I put a cover there? Nope. That's going to look stupid. Let's do that and do that. Eh, I'll probably change these out. Let me let me do different ones. Different kinds. That way it looks kind of more like a machine. But anyway, let's get it wired up. Let's get it working. That's the main thing. I'll make it look pretty later, right? So let's bust through this wall like here. Alright. We need power to go to this spot. Let's come up. Oh, perfect. You know, I'd like to say I planned that. But if you know me, I totally didn't. Just like, I didn't plan how to get out of here properly. Boom, powered. So then, we grab these guys back. Fill in the spots. I don't like how... I'm actually going to take that one more in, I think. Because I really, really, really hate 
the way that's going to look. So let's go ahead and that'll be fine. Uh, right tool, Digimaster. There you go. Actually, save one of these. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, dang it, the chest is there. So, yeah, we're going to want to go back one more. Piping! It's difficult sometimes. And all this is going to be upgraded really shortly, too. The only reason we're doing it is to get power to these guys. There. And we will have to put a cover back there, but that's not a big deal. These guys are fully functional. All right, they're powering up. Um, let's go get some redstone and pump it in there and see if it works. Just grab this. I need. I don't have a whole lot of redstone. I've been dodging it a lot because I'm waiting for silk touch, but I'm going to go get some. Okay, cool, that does work. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if blocks work. And we're not going to need nearly that much, but oh well. That's all, all my redstone. Let's put in that much. Oops. It's set to export out the sides, so we need it. Wait a minute. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, we wanted to... Export out the top. Do I need that pneumatic servo? I didn't think I did with thermal expansion things. It should auto eject. Maybe it's not auto ejecting because it's set to auto eject. Yep, that was the issue. It went into there and now it's in here. I'll screw it. I'll just get more redstone. <laughs> I want to see it in here. Liquid redstone looks so cool. And once we get hard, um, a, um induction smelter set up and we can make hardened glass, we can make this clear. You full yet? Alright. Alright. Here it comes. Looks so cool. Alright. Uh, let's see, what do we need to do now? We need to make some of these redstone guys. So that's electrum and hardened glass. So actually, we're going to need to make hardened glass. So we need an induction smelter. Which we have an induction smelter, but I don't have any obsidian. So I'm going to have to go mine some obsidian. So I'll be right back once I have obsidian mined and pulverized, because it needs to be obsidian dust. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Um, I'll get some of that stuff. Yep, be right back. And I'll make this look a little prettier. Okay, so I did something different other than going off and mining obsidian and then pulverizing it and all that. Um, I made this. Uh, this is a lava fabricator that is producing this igneous extruder uh, with lava. There is an aqueous accumulator, the one we had upstairs we weren't using anymore, down below providing it with water. It's making obsidian. Obsidian is getting up and getting pulverized into pulverized obsidian. That's getting ported into here. As you can see it's already full. And then the hardened glass will be exported out of there. All we gotta do is throw in some lead. And voila! Hardened glass. So, now that we have this machine, which by the way I had to make a bunch more of these useless hardened injury cells because <laughs> they're going to be useless as soon as we upgrade. Um, and this is what I made this machine look like. I'm going to change it. I hate it. I I hate it. It's easy enough to say I, I hate it. But it's okay for now. This guy's going to change too. He looks stupid as well. But whatever. Um... But yeah, there we go. I ended up putting the chest up there. The items will be exported up to the top there. So, 
we needed to make six of these guys we need one hardened glass and two electrum to make electrum it's just pulverized silver and pulverized gold makes two we have some electrum we have nine um, Yeah, that won't make it nearly enough. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and pulverize nine. Fourteen. Let's do even fifteen gold. Oops, I have too much crud in my inventory. An even fifteen gold and fifteen silver. We'll just come over here and do this. And when I do that, I just usually come over here and throw them into here. That way I get smooth stone. I made some invar as well, and some new glass. That's basically what I do. Bloop, more invar. Oh, dang it. I wanted this stuff. Eh, we can hold off. So let's, let's see. Wait for this to get done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Once this finishes, well, here, let's just go make a few right now so we can see how it works. As soon as this is done, I'm going to put my gold in there. Take out the silver. Okay. Got a bunch of this stuff already. Uh, we can make four. Um, dang it, I don't have a crafting bench down here. That's something that's needed. Boom, 24 of those bad boys. Just wait for this to finish. And we'll be able to make more. Hopefully we'll have enough to rewire this whole thing, otherwise I'll just make more Electrum. And that guy refill up. Let me just take this. Mix it with a little of that. Boom, 30. I think that'll be enough to at least rewire what we have. Let's just grab all of that. I can't believe I don't have a, a crafting bench or a workbench down there. That will be remedied. What the heck? Oh, I gotta smelt it. <laughs> I was like, why is this not working? Alright, well, let's go down and get... We got these guys. So let's go ahead and put them in here. You'll see they'll get filled up and disappear immediately. And boom! Redstone energy conduits, they can transfer 10,000 RF per tick, so it is a huge upgrade from these hardened guys that can only do 400. So we're going to be rolling in the stuff here shortly. We're just going to stuff that guy in there, keep the redstone flowing, because we're going to need a lot more of it. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to get this all finalized and rewired. Uh, these, with, with all the new special redstone wire, make all of our stuff high efficiency at that point in time. It's going to be great. So, I hope you liked the uh, enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. Really helps me out, keeps these episodes flowing. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Doesn't hurt. It's free, and you get a um, upgraded. Sub blah, 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 blah. You get notified when I up a new load, a new video, video, and all that stuff. You know, doesn't hurt. Doesn't bite. It's amazing, and you get to hear my my lovely voice. That's probably pretty annoying. <laughs> 
All right, guys. This is Digimaster saying goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.